Hello viewers, welcome to another video from NASA 787. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use the Garmin from the Baron Beechcraft 58G 1000 Glass Cockpit Edition. And this GPS tutorial is basically just covering the basics for the Garmin. And it's not really in-depth, but it will give you an idea of how to use it. Okay, starting off with the Nav1. Your Nav1 is simply used for... ILS procedures as I like to do um, and then you can change, uh, change your frequency um, right here to your um, you have your standby and your active and then over here when in this box you can simply change that so and this is uh, half and half and what I mean by that is that half of it the upper half is to change the left um, numbers from the decimal so like if I change that right there and then the bottom half changes the right side of the decimals so right there 117 decimal 10 and they can change that as well on the other one and then etc and there you go and over here you have your heading bug basically just you know when you're using uh, your autopilot your plane will simply go to that direction when this is set so for example if I want to go to say 360 you know I'll go all the way over there and this will show up here you can see that right there uh, 360 and there we go well, 360 is basically 000 in other words 360 it you know, does that and to activate that to actually make it work you have to go to your autopilot turn it on and you gotta go to heading hold and it will simply just go to turn right to this right here okay now you have your altitude and your altitude will show up right here so if you want to go to 1800 feet you can you know go there you can turn on your autopilot and just go to altitude hold if you want to change that you know simply just by doing this you can do that or you can just go to this window right here and do that that covers the left side of this this side over here is used for the communications and that is this right here it's quite well it is the same thing as for the nav on the left side you can change your frequency here from a standby to an active and you can simply change that okay over here and I'm just going to this side really quick you can change your you have your communication audio selectors and you can change that from the first to the second so what I mean by that is that you have your communication here and you have it here so the top one is for this only and that would go to the active which is right here and it would um, well you get the point and vice versa these right here you cannot use in this GPS because it doesn't let you select them but besides that anyways you have your course just here so for example if I'm headed to a certain airport on a certain runway say runway two, uh, 270 I can change this right here I'm sorry uh, give me a second 270 uh, right here okay you wanna adjust this right here this, uh, usually when you uh, create a flight plan it doesn't change it into where this is supposed to be so it can be somewhere else and you just want it to be a line on your um, aircraft for your runway and I usually use this when I'm using uh, ILS but anyways I'll, I'll leave that to you guys anyways um, so this is the same thing so um, as I was talking about over here so the bottom half controls the uh, course and the upper half controls the 
altimeter or barometer so for example and that would be right here so it's at 29.86 or 2986 anyways I want to change that to 2992 it's just the upper half right there it's really simple okay over here you have your procedures page it will pop it up right here and you know it's the same thing as the other GPS so you know you can set your course you have your flight plan here I don't know why that is there but okay and then you can just clear quite simple this is just for your uh, little uh, your approach you can do that there it's pretty straightforward this right here well that's to change uh, this right there you can move it up or down if you want to right now I'm not allowed to but if you wanted to, you can. Okay. All right. So now we covered this part. Wait. I want to get to this part first. And this right here is just your Nav 1 audio selector, Nav 2 audio selector, DME. And you can just click on those. Don't worry about that. And then you can set it here. So basically, it would give you a Morse code um, sound. You, you know for those who know you know this is your um, audio selector section right here and yeah alright now that we're done with all that we can move on to this page so this controls a map it basically allows you to see different things on the ground so here you have your airport um, basically different little options right there that you have and you can switch it off put it back on stuff like that you can just mess around with it okay so this right here uh, I don't really use this right here but yeah and over here you can switch to your nav 2 your GPS if you're using GPS you can use it I mean this just switch it here you can switch that too you can also change that if you like you can change this too and there you go and you can switch those like like the nav 2 right here you can switch it with this as well you know your core selector and all that I will not get to this part but if you wanna explore and know what this is about you can do so yourself that is kinda complicated for me to explain but if you guys want me to, to explain that you guys can request it Okay, over here you have your timer, your references page. You have your timer, of course. You can do that. And there you go. That's your timer. You can stop it. You can reset it. Start. And all that. And over here you have your nearest airports page. You can move down there if you like. And yeah. Well, that is basically it on how to use the GPS okay now that you've seen how it's done it's your turn maestro